In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the basic components of a screenplay or a script for film, and I'm going to show you how to write one in a free piece of software. First thing I want to do is just take a quick look at a real script. This is for the film The Dark Knight. Um, you can see that it's indented on both sides. It seems to be following a lot of the same formatting. Uh, this is where our scene begins with some basic info. We have some action, we have some characters, and we have some dialogue. So that's just a quick look at a script, and uh, hopefully our scripts kind of look like that. Keltex is the program we're using. It's a free piece of software uh, downloaded at keltex.com. Go to download. It's available for multiple operating systems. So uh, whatever operating system you have, click that, download it, install it. Icon looks like a little film clapboard. So there's Caltex. I'm going to open it. Brings me to the template screen. And so we're creating a film script and we're just going to choose film. It's going to give me everything I need to create a screenplay. So our blinking cursor has a slightly grayed background and you can see scene heading is selected here. Scene heading, the basic information for your scene. Is it inside or outside? Is it Where is it happening? And is it day or night? So interior, INT means interior, school, daytime. That's how they always look. When I hit enter just now, it took me to action. Uh, action is the, what's happening in the scene. So students write an exam is happening in my scene. And I'm just hitting enter. Now enter and tab kind of give you everything that you need to do. If you look down here, you can see that if I tab right now, it takes me to character or if I hit enter again, I'm going to be creating a different scene. So I'm going to tab in. I'm just going to type teacher. I'm not capitalizing that. Caltex is capitalizing it because characters are always capitalized. I'm hitting enter to give me my dialogue. 20 minutes remaining. I hit enter. It's going to go back to character. It knows that a conversation is happening. Jack is going to say, oh my god. I hit enter again. Give me a character. Um, but I actually want to do an action, so I just hit it once more. And uh, students are going to chuckle at Jack. Now, hitting enter once more, you can see down here it says scene heading. So if I hit it once more, it gives me my scene heading. I'm typing EXT, which is exterior. This scene is now happening outside. Exterior, school day. There's my action. Now at any point, I can actually select this and say this is actually supposed to be dialogue, this was a scene heading, or it's action. So you can change it that way too, but enter and tab is a really easy way to get around. So enter two times, brings me back to this, and it already knows if I type interior, all my scenes are going to show up here if I'm going back and forth, that's really nice. So I can just go down to that one, hit enter. Uh, we'll say the bell rings, students run out of the classrooms. So there we go. Created my scenes, and you can see down here I have three separate scenes. Every time you do another scene heading, uh, it creates a new scene over here. It'll list them here, and when you get enough, it'll scroll and allow you to just double click and jump right to that scene. So it's really nice if you have a long script. Um, those are the basic components of any screenplay. We have our scene heading. Always looks like this. It either starts with interior or exterior. It gives you your location, and then it says day or night. Then you have action, so you're describing what's happening in the scene. You have your characters, and you have your dialogue. Those are the four basic components. Uh, over here in our project library in Caltex, click the plus button. gives you lots of different little options that you can add. If you've drawn storyboards, little pictures of your scenes or your shots, you can import them into Caltex. You want to create a production schedule. You're going to list everything that's happening, everything you're shooting on certain days. You can do that within Caltex. Uh, character, you can actually add character details, their build, their interests, uh, the actor who's playing them, maybe uh, photos of people who have auditioned for this character, and scene details, props, costumes, all those kinds of things. Caltex stores everything and you can print out reports or you can keep it all on the computer. You can also put your script online and have people uh, able to access it. You can password protect it. Um, and of course, you can print it to PDF or on paper, and it's going to be industry standard formatted scripts. Uh, so that's base the basics of Caltex and the basic components of a screenplay.